guys and thanks for watching yet another presentation of my cooking videos in this episode we're going to be exploring a fried chicken breast and vegetable stir fry i had already prepared my fried chicken basically i seasoned it and then i chopped it up and set it aside so you'll be seeing the portions of where i produced the, the pasta and then the parts where i introduced the chicken so enjoy this presentation so i have three cups of water boiling here right now to that i'm gonna just add a just like a quarter teaspoon of salt and to that i'm gonna be making some instant egg noodles it takes about three minutes to boil so i'm gonna be putting that straight into the pot just two of these and that'll boil for three minutes and then i'll strain it so it's been a good four minutes. I'm just turning off the stove and I'm gonna take this to drain. I don't like noodles that are overcooked, so I try and adhere to the cooking times. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna let that sit out on here and drain for a bit. And I'll be using it soon in a, another meal. So I have two tablespoons of oil in a little fry pan here, just heating up. To that, I'm going to be adding half of my large onion. So I'm just going to add a bigger portion of that in there. As well as I'm going to have the carrots go into. To that, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of minced ginger. And half a teaspoon of minced garlic and we're gonna be giving that a nice little stir to incorporate everything and we'll let that cook till the onion soft. so to that what you've seen I just added a tablespoon of uh, what do you call it coriander tablespoon of fresh coriander mint. To that, I'm gonna be adding a half cup of mixed vegetables. Just a little half cup, not much. We're gonna incorporate that as well. And let that steam down in that garlic and ginger for a little bit before we add anything else. Two minutes. So to that now, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of teriyaki. We're going to add one teaspoon of oyster sauce. That's about a teaspoon. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of post-sign sauce. Yeah. And then we're going to give that a mix to incorporate. So to that, I also just added a half a cup of fresh green sprouts. They were frozen, so I'm just going to incorporate that as well into this mixture. And I'll show you what that looks like. So to that, I'm gonna be adding the chicken breast that I fried. So I'm just gonna be putting that chicken breast right on in with that. And I'm gonna incorporate it. Mind you, this chicken's already flavored, but hey, it's gonna absorb some of the stir fry mixture. So at this point, I'll let this saute for about two minutes before I add the noodles. That's nice. So I just put in um, the sweet peppers into this mix and to that I'm going to add in as much sweet peppers don't need to cook too much. I'm going to be adding in the pasta right now. So we're going to incorporate that and I'm going to show you what that looks like after I mix it in. So this uh, chicken and vegetable stir fry and egg noodle is done. Um, there's no moisture, as you can see, there's no wetness. I like to make a dry stir fry. However, it's a lot of moisture in the meal. But yeah, so yeah. So as you can see, this was a totally easy recipe to make. So I hope after seeing this presentation, you feel comfortable enough to try it. Bye for now.